Roxy, I'm in desperate need of a manicure pedicure. Can you hook me up? Oh, no, sorry, honey. My girl is all tied up. Can you ask the other customer to wait, please? This is an emergency. Look, I hate to sound shallow, but look at my nails. I have a huge night planned for me with John. One manicure coming up. Well, I'm sorry I was here first. <sighs> Natalie. I didn't realize you were the other customer. I'm sorry. Well, now you know. You and Christian must have big plans tonight, too. Huge. Yeah. Honey, I thought you were going to say... So I guess you're just going to have to wait until I'm done. I don't have time. I still got to buy a dress. I got to do something to my hair. Mm. Uh, you know, that's okay. Um, maybe I could take care of something. You will? Yeah, well, you know, I don't usually do grunt work anymore, and I'm the owner of a hotel, but, uh, you know, it's New Year's Eve. I think maybe I could make an exception. Oh, Roxy, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Thank yeah, you. I bet you do. Well, honey, hang on to your swivel chair, because you're going to get the manicure of your life. <laughs> Great. I'm so happy to hear that you and Christian are going to get out and celebrate the New Year. Why wouldn't we? Forget it. What? Well, you seemed pretty upset yesterday, you know, when I walked in on you and John, and he filled me in a little. Did he really? He was really concerned about you and Christian. You know what? It was no big deal. I'm glad to hear that. So, what are your plans for tonight? Um, I don't know. Christian's surprising me. Oh, John's surprising me, too. Nice. So I guess that means your relationship has gotten pretty serious, spending Christmas together now in New Year's. John and I, our relationship is amazing. Fabulous. And I'm sure having Christian back for the holidays is a dream come true for you. Yeah, Christian's everything to me. Yeah, Natty's got herself a grade A piece of beefcake. You know, your mother did a wonderful job with that Christmas party at the Love Center. Did you have a good time? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was fun. I'm sure it was. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. Uh, really, I just thought with Christian being back, you know. You know what, Evangeline? If you've got something to say, I suggest you come right out and say it. I know that you and John kissed on Christmas, and I bet you enjoyed it. All about your little kiss in the coat room. Unbelievable. Yeah, it was an accident. How exactly do you kiss someone accidentally? Well, I don't know. Why don't you ask John, seeing as how he's the one who kissed me, thinking it was you? And you went along for the ride, what, for old time's sake? No, I thought it was Christian. It was dark. Oh, sure, because John and Christian look so much alike, don't they? Well, maybe they kiss alike. Will you just stay out of this, Roxy? I told you, the lights were off. It was dark. It happened so fast. Look, I know that John was expecting to find me. What is your excuse? Well, honey, I don't need an excuse, okay? The minute I knew it was him, I was the one who pulled away. Oh, whatever, Natalie. I don't buy that. For a second. I really don't care. Oh, but I think you do. And what the hell is that supposed to mean? If you're so in love with your husband, why the hell do you keep chasing after John? I'm not chasing after John, but if you're so insecure with your little Which relationship... I am not. Really, could have fooled me. Look, I'm just sick and tired of you running to John, coming up with reasons to cry on his shoulder. I am not doing that. You so are, and you know that you are. And as you keep pointing out, you already have a wonderful husband who you claim to love more than life itself. I do love my husband. Then go to him with your problems, or go to one of your 5,000 family members in this town, but leave John alone. I think I'll take my break now. Oh, my God. Roxy, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect anything like that to happen. Oh, I'm sure you didn't. But uh, it's okay. You know, Natty's a big kid. She knows how to take care of herself. That kind of thing happens here all the time. Look, I just, I, uh... 
I've never done anything like that, and I, I shouldn't have lost my cool, and I just really apologize. Oh, honey, honey, it was nothing. That kind of fur flying cat fight, that happens here all the time. You know, women come in here because they like to have their claws sharpened. <laughs>